Good morning, guys, or afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be today. I'm Marshall Berkshire, and welcome to Healing Your Codependency. Today, we have a Blunt Kick episode, so be prepared for that. Anytime there's a Blunt Kick episode, the thing you want to be aware of, first and foremost, is to check in with your capacity to make sure you have capacity to receive information that might be confronting or activating and might move you to look at yourself and explore what might be coming up there for you. So please go gently and go kindly with this episode as it can be a little blunty. Further, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, that like button, comment below. And if you're listening via podcast, hi. If you guys want to listen to these episodes via podcast, you can find me on Google, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts and other podcasts. Just go Google it on your little podcasting app. Okay, let's jump in here. So blunt kicky. So today's blunt kick episode. We'll get right to it. You are not entitled to a person's acceptance. Boy, when I wrote that down, that kind of like, mm. because that's something that I used to believe I was entitled to. I also in, believed I was entitled to other people not being disappointed with me or in me. And this made me very enmeshed in trying to control and manage their responses to get what I wanted, especially in my people-pleasing. I would people-please try to get people to like me, to accept me, to approve of me because I thought I was entitled to it. I deserve to be accepted by this person because I liked them. I did nice things to them and stuff like that. This is kind of like the dark side of codependency, the dark side of you know, it's the, the shadow work of it. This is a big and important thing for us to look at because in any kind of maturity dynamic that we're working through, entitlement's going to show up. Entitlement and obligation all paired with expectations of what someone else should be, right? And in this aspect of thinking we're and believing that we're entitled to a person's acceptance because we've done ABC um, traps us in, uh, from well, it traps us in our own pain, but it also blocks us from actually experiencing real connection. This kind of perspective, hey, I, I deserve acceptance from this person, comes from being raised in a relationally transactional system where we earn love, we earn approval, we earn belonging, we earn a position or status with a person by doing certain things. I was raised in that kind of environment, and that's where this entitlement came from because I was taught it straight up. It's like, hey, you want my acceptance? You got to earn it. Here's how you earn it. Got to make me feel good. You got to make me happy with you and that kind of thing. And so for my body and my brain, that was a very normal, common experience to be doing. And it was very scary. It was very painful because you never know when it was going to change. I lived in anxiety for most of my life because I was I lived in this idea that, hey, the feelings and love, the commitment and care a person has for me could change at any time. It's not constant. There's no permanence to it. There's no stability in it. There's no reliability in it because it changes based on how they feel. And having been raised by a narcissistic system, narcissistic parent, no wonder. Because there's a lack of what's called object permanence in that system. You're there as a benefit. You've got to provide the cookie. You don't, you lose all these benefits. That's the power, the impact, the trauma of transactional systems, especially transactional love. So no wonder I felt entitled to someone's acceptance. I was thinking I earned it, so why am I not getting it, right? So what do we do here? Well, first, we check in with our capacity now. We see how we're feeling. We see what's coming up for us. Because, <laughs> boy, can that hit. And we want to be very gentle, very kind with ourselves there. Because uh, whatever arises in this experience, whatever sensations, or feelings, beliefs, or thoughts that show up, they need care. They need love. They need shelter. They need a structure in which they can feel cared for, seen in, validated and then their pain reduced or brought into resolution so there's more peace you want to learn more about how i make that happen for my students and clients come join us in the actually heal trainings the link is below on facebook above on, or below on youtube above on facebook and on my front page at healyourcodependency.com we start july 9th 
get the details there and let's have some fun and bring peace into your world. So we start there with acknowledging what's arised in us and then we can care for it, soothe it, and validate it. And that actually starts the process of moving us out of this transactional paradigm of relating into a connection-centered paradigm of relating. Because where we're really going for is this idea of I am acceptable. People want to accept me. They like me. They're interested in me. I like them. I'm interested in them. Let's build a connection together. That's where we're going. But we have to first accept that we're not entitled to a person's acceptance so that it opens us up to the organic connection-centered experience of being desired to be connected with. They want to because they like who we are. They're, we're interesting to them. They're interesting to us. It becomes more people-centered rather than benefit-centered in this experience. This out, This is an outcome, not the process. The outcome of this is a process or a result of having cared for and nurtured our emotional pain, our attachment pain, and our relationship to our own inherent worth as a human being. So it's a big journey there, one that I'm constantly working on myself, is discovering where in me do I feel like I have been unwanted or where have I exiled myself or have been exiled by others. And bring that in and care for that pain, process that pain, so it begins to integrate and I can mature into an availability of being seen, valued, and loved by others, and then seeing, loving, and valuing others as they are. That's the key here. So this is the process we start with, is by acknowledging our pain, allowing it to become real and valid for ourselves, so that we have the space and capacity to start to regulate, care for it, and, new, and bring nurture into that pain so it becomes soothed. This is how we exit this entitlement as we move into connection with ourself first with our pain and with our then with our joy and with our wholeness and then connecting with others and allowing them to connect with us so that we can actually experience that we are accepted by some and not accepted by others and that this reality no longer determines our worth and no longer impacts our sense of uh, safety our sense of connection, and that we can resource our power from within us so we can create the connections that matter to us. People who love and accept us. And that's the work. So today, take time to acknowledge what showed up for you in this. And if you want additional help in breaking free of that codependency and caring for and soothing that pain, again, come join us for the actual HEAL trainings. Uh, they start two weeks from this Sunday, so July 9th. A maximum of 15 of uh, 550 people will be allowed into this training so there we got 47 seats open three have already sold so come join us on that the link is above on facebook below on youtube my front page at healyourcodependency.com it's eight weeks long and then you got ongoing processing support in that it also by enrolling you get access to the codependency healing system that starts august 14th because this is part of the heal your codependency membership so you get a lot of access to live twice a week live support calls uh, facilitation calls where we practice tools together along with this the actual heal trainings and the codependency healing trainings coming up in august so got a lot going on got a lot of magic coming so my friends let me know your experience your thoughts on today's episode go gently with this blunt cake and consider, I'll give you a what shifts question to start off this work for you. What shifts when you trust just a bit that you no longer have to earn acceptance? And let's see what starts to emerge for you there. Go gently, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Bye-bye.